Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll be showing you how to change the tool data in a tool. If we take a look at this moment at our Solid Camp Manager, you can see that we have the tools listed here. Now, this is essential for this option to work to be able to see the tools listed over here. To do that, all you have to do is right click in operations and we have cam tree view and click on show tools. At this moment, it says hide tools in tree because I see the tools already. If I click on hide tools, you won't see the tools. Right click cam tree view and now we have show tools in tree and we can see the tools in our tree. Now. Say I would like to change the feed and spin rate in T2. I'll go to T2, right click on it, and we have the option of change tool data. Now, note on the left hand side, we have three operations that are actually part of this group over here. Now, there may be more areas that use this tool, so if I were to click on show all operations, you can see all the operations that use this tool. Now say I only want to change the feed rate in one of these operations only. And say I want to do it in the very first operation over here and the rest of the operations leave unchanged. I'll go to my FXY, change it to 1500 have only the first one checked off and click on OK. Now, if I go into that first operation and take a look at my tool data, you'll see we have 1,500. However, if I go into my next operation that uses the exact same tool and click on tool data, you'll see that it stayed at 1,000. Now, if I were to go back, again, do change tool data on all the tools and make it now I, that I want all of them at 2000 and click on OK. Then every single one of these operations will have the T2 with the feed rate as 2000 as shown over here, whether it be this one, this operation over here, looking at the tool data over here as well. All of them have been made at 2000. Now, another option we have is that we can actually change the tool to a different tool. If I were to right click on T2, we have the option of change tool. Now in change tool, you can see the actual tool that we have over here. But if I were to go into my part tool table, I can either create another tool or choose a different tool that I want to have instead of this one, say choose tool number three, select and click on OK. You'll note that that has been changed now to T3 as shown over here. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.